Glenn Counts live for us tonight. Thank you so much, Glenn. Tomorrow, a judge could decide whether to send Mark Harris to Congress amid an investigation into illegal absentee ballot collection. Harris sued, saying that he should be seated. Democrats say the state needs to finish its investigation first. Channel 9's Joe Bruno is the only local reporter in Raleigh today where we're getting a better idea of exactly what to expect. Joe? Harris's attorneys are arguing that no uh, all the certifications happened for the local boards of election and no protests were filed, so Harris should be immediately certified as the winner. Today in Raleigh, 9th Congressional District leaders as well as uh, the NCGOP had a press conference in support of Mark Harris. Republicans say no public evidence has been produced to show the outcome is in doubt. The North Carolina Democratic Party also held a news conference ahead of tomorrow's court hearing. The Democratic Party believes Harris's lawsuit should be dismissed, and they accused Republicans of pushing a false narrative to steal a congressional seat. No amount of misleading press conferences or frivolous lawsuits can deliver that seat to him. Harris's lawsuit has no basis in reality. We are of a belief that if the state of North Carolina certifies a race, that Congress will seat Mr. Harris. And Joe, take us through exactly what's going to happen next, depending on the judge's ruling. And a judge doesn't have to issue a ruling tomorrow, but if he does, we still are not looking at any of this being over anytime soon. That's because even if Harris is certified, congressional Democrats have said they have the right to block him from being seated, and that would trigger a new election. If he rules against Harris, we'll have to wait for a new elections board to be appointed. That will happen in 10 days. There would also be an evidentiary hearing where all of the evidence would publicly be laid out. Also keep in mind, though, it's likely whatever party loses tomorrow, there will be an appeal process. Allison. All right, Joe, thank you very much for that reporting from Raleigh. We'll have much more for you tomorrow right after that hearing.